Okay, so we just left Swan Quarter. Boom! got the self steering going it's pointing a little higher than I want it right now As you can see right there on my jib line I have this horizontal line the rolling hitch going through a, this forward block another block the other block and then back to the tiller and on the lee side is the elastic goes through a block and here's my new cleat that I've rigged up. Still sailing downwind. Probably five or six knots. Isla's got some slime she just made. We, uh, the outboard stalled on the way out. We had just made it out of the channel and raised the sail already though when it stalled. So I was just able to try it, start it again, and it started right up. I guess it just stalled. Um, so having the self steering help with that really was helpful. Because Isla's got her hands full. Over there's the ferry and uh, our red to the port. Way up there is our green. It's in there. So not only can you uh, untie this and readjust this tighter or looser, but you can also loosen the elastic because it goes through this block here and then is tied to this new horn cleat I installed, which you can always easily untie and retie it a little tighter or looser. That's really making my setup a lot easier these days. One quarter way off in the distance. Right now we're on a course of 175. I've been uh, using the chart, parallel rulers, marking our track out of here. We're sort of doing this right now with 175. And then we'll probably change up, and do a heading like this, straight to Ocracoke. That looks perfect. What heading is that? Slide the rulers over to the center of the compass rows. Check what I'm doing, make sure it looks good. Is it right on the left. Ferry up ahead coming to us. So that number is like 140, 135. Thirty-seven, something like that, coming straight out of there to the nine-foot channel at Ocracoke. Right there.
so now it's time for us to change course a little bit just a few degrees we're at about 175 still and we want to switch it down to about 138 which would be kind of southeast this is an air quality alert for the following counties okay we're holding 138 135 pretty good got a bunch of birds they have a feeding frenzy i don't know About four knots. Self steering is set up. Yeah, right. holding a great course okay so it's about 28 miles from Swan Corner to Oak Coast Harbor Silver Lake and I think we're probably almost halfway there and it's about 10 o'clock so I think we're making good time the self steering is doing just great and get myself some snacks and Isla is sleeping I feel like I need to tighten this a little more, so I'm going to tighten this guy. Nothing. Okay, so it's a little tighter now. And it's pulling the tiller. A little more towards 150 there, you see. And the jib is starting to flog a little bit. Tighten that up. You see how it's rubbing on the main bang? I don't like that a whole lot. So I'm gonna try to come down here. in this guy now.
change direction some now. And um, I've had to change from downwind self steering to upwind self steering. So, yeah. There it is down there. It's tied to the uh, main sheet on the inner triangle on the lee side. About two thirds of the way, I can see the Royal Shoals marker up over there, and um, and then the next marker, Royal, Royal Shoals, is about two o'clock. And we're following the track with the ferry wind. I can pretty much tell by sighting Royal Shoal and this other marker that we're right about there. Right about there. Pretty close to Kirk. see Springer's Point and as we pan to the left we have the Ockercoke Lighthouse and as we keep panning to the left eventually we come to the entrance to Silver Lake Harbor. There's the Ockercoke Water Tower and the red and white Coast Guard Station. Now we thought we were gonna have to motor in but we actually made it in in two tacks. But once we made it in we did lower the jib and cut on the outboard to safely find a place to anchor.
Hey YouTube, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit the alarm bell for notifications of when the next video drops. Or just reach out to us by making a comment below. Peace.